Morning chaps, we're back in today doing more of the same. So we've got the chiller on. That's gonna go, it's already, it held its temp. It was at half a degree this morning when I got in. Uh, so I've turned it on. We're gonna try and build up an ice bank on it today and uh, just make sure that she's uh, running, running well. You'll hear in the background I've got the cask washer running because I want to clean some of those boggart hole casks. So they're sat on the caustic today. They don't need an acid washer or anything right now because they're not going to be filled. But we will absolutely blast them with uh, Cosgleam for however long it takes to get them clean. And then before we fill we'll give them uh, an acid wash to passivate and of course sanitise the kegs or casks before we do that. And then uh, I'm going to go in here today inside these little uh, cold rooms and we're going to start the wiring the uh, the motorized valves and we're going to bring all of those uh, cables from those pieces of equipment out to the front so that they're ready to go into the control boxes when we get them built and whilst I don't have all the equipment for the control boxes uh, I can certainly make a start on them so that's something else I'll be doing today as well. Uh, but I will be leaving relatively early today because I've booked Dominic and myself into an Odeon Lux cinema this evening to go and watch the Avengers Endgame. So a uh, little treat for me and the lad. So I think we'll be off at about 3, 4 o'clock. So to the grindstone. Let's get some jobs done. I've also just spent half an hour upstairs in the office. On to the insurers giving them a kick up the arse to get the documents sent out. Uh, but yeah, we're all covered, I think. Okay, doke folks, so we're gonna start with these motorized valves which I ordered from China. Uh, you can buy them from places like Screwfix, but they're about 40 quid each. Uh, order them from China, uh, smashed. We'll blame that on the shipping. <laughs> Order them from China and they are kind of less than 20 quid. These are the, C, um, the CRO1s, which means they've got two wires coming out at the end. So basically, you just flip the polarity and it opens and closes the ball valve inside. Very, very simple. These are the half inch ones. I ordered the half inch ones because they fit perfectly onto these. Uh, compression couplers 15 mil straight compression couplers you just take one side off a uh, bit of PTFE tape screw it in I know this works because I've done it loads of times before screw it into one side and we get another one same same jobby again PTFE on there And then that's either side. We'll just tighten that up, and then that allows us to put um, a piece of plastic pipe in there with uh, one of the little inserts to prevent you crushing the pipe, if you know what I mean. And then that puts us onto the 15 mil pipe, and we can then run away with the, uh, you know, the push fits and whatever else we need to install onto the old gal. So we'll just tighten these up a little bit, give them a bit of a, bit of a tweak. There you go. I'll drop this banner. Oh, drop this banner. Thursday morning spanner drop. Down tools. That's it. Get onto Union. We've had to down tools. There we go. We'll do it this way then we can time both sides up at once. There we go. So that then, when we get the old ring spanner off, is now ready to be put onto the cooling radiator that we've got. We'll just add a little terminal block to this end of the cable and uh, then run that out to our control unit. When, uh, when it's in situ. Just a couple more to go.
So we've prepped all of the uh, project boxes to accept uh, SDC 1000s in the front and uh, we've started to mount uh, the distribution blocks, what they're bloody called, terminal blocks and the PSUs, these are the 12 volt power supply units that go to switch in the little motors that you saw me install earlier on. I've had to stop because I've snapped the handle on my little glue gun, I've been shoving the glue sticks through with a screwdriver but we'll pick up another one of them from tool station or something they're only about a pound aren't they chance so I'll take you into this one you'll be able to see it a bit clearer we've got uh, a five core cable coming in uh, two of those cores are to activate the fan the cooling fan and one of them uh, two of the others is to actuate this valve so when this cable comes out the other end and up into the control box, which I think we're going to mount up there, we'll be able to set the temperature and uh, put the sensor in because it'll be close enough to the cold room and uh, everything will be controlled from there and then we'll kind of daisy chain all of these boxes together just like we have done on the fermenters. So they're linked together with these swift connectors like this and right at the end, and I'm running around a little bit but I'm sure you'll be able to keep up, right at the end all these cables will come across around the corner and then next to the cooler we'll have a little junction box and in that junction box we will house the 12 volt power supply for all of the fans. So all of those cables will come into here and then also it will um, interrupt the circuit for the cooling unit recirculation pump so we're not recycling the glycol all the time when it's not needed and then when the cold room kicks on it'll start this recycling pump or recircling, recirculation pump and obviously the fans will kick on and whatever else. Oh, it's just started raining and then also on the front of these what is different to the other control panels is we've got a little on and off switch for the fan so if we go into the cold room and it's a hot summer's day we don't want to blow all that cold air out of the cold room so you can turn the fan off go in do whatever you're doing and when you come out turn the fan back on bingo listen to that you know i'm sure there's a Bleeding leak in here. Can you hear that? We just had hail. Over there. Yeah. Ah, it's a weird old building, this one. It was literally just sunny two seconds ago, and now we've got this. Oh well. Anyway, I'm about to wrap it up because I've got to go and pick up the new car. Uh, I've had a mate of mine, Enzo, looking at the uh, brakes. I couldn't do the rear brakes. Um, I'm obviously not qualified enough. Uh, I didn't have time to be honest and uh, Enzo has done us a right deal. So we're going to go up there, pick up our uh, car, which should now no longer be squeaky bum squeaky brakes when we're driving around sorry for the wobbly camera work and then I'm gonna go and vote Labour and then uh, we're gonna go and watch um, the end game uh, with Dominic up at the Odeon Lux cinema which I've never been to before so I'm really quite looking forward to that uh, and then I'll come home after we've had a nice evening I'll edit the vlog and upload it for you guys out there and then we'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again. We'll see you then.